Hi, Robert. Hi. This is a pleasure. Tell me about Buddha and your relationship with him. Okay. The number of teachers and the number of schools of spirituality very bewildering subject. <clears throat> How does one choose among the gods <laughs> or among the teachers? And one good answer for that <clears throat> is that it's good to choose somebody, something or somebody who accords with one's own typology or one's own character. I like the teachings of Buddha because he was obviously a great introvert. <laughs> Taught things that are germane to introverts like us. He didn't make a theology that was uh, cut and dried or very sharp. He taught a way of life. Most of the other great teachers in <coughs> schools of uh, religion are pretty sharp in their theology. You do this and you do that. And if you follow this rule, okay, you get, get your way to heaven. If you do that, that's wrong, and so on. Buddha didn't do that. He talked about ways of life. Didn't... <coughs> put out any particular um, goals even. It's about the oldest of the religious systems which were uh, served up these days. A lot of people are able to take the teachings of Buddha and use them side by side with other disciplines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because of that non theological approach. Yes. <clears throat> there aren't a lot of things to argue or <clears throat> have quarrels over. The Muslim and the Christian world uh, tend to be fighters, or the the, the sharp elements of <coughs> religion as they see them uh, make for controversy. Buddhists don't have much controversy going. There isn't much to argue about. I like that. Buddha also had a lot of empathy and love for for his fellow man because he uh, he stuck around longer than he had to. <laughs> I like that. Yes. It 
was that of Buddha that he attained his enlightenment, as they called it, pretty early on. And he should have had the right to go off to the next world, whatever it would be. But he stayed, as you say. And even though it came from a very early time, it does well by women. It's a good place for women in Buddhism. Even when uh, it was not fashionable to give women any very human place even. So the, the image we have of Buddha is of one who has achieved enlightenment. Mm -hmm. He's uh, found the golden world, the heaven on earth. The image we also have of Buddha is that he entered that state and lived there all the time. Is that an attainable goal for a modern man? Are, are, are we setting ourselves up with an image like that? <laughs> Language is so difficult. <clears throat> We get some words. Our vocabulary is Christian. And almost everything we think or say or process in our head is tinged with Christianity because that's, that's what fashioned our language for us. And Buddha says essentially that everybody is enlightened all the time. <laughs> and one isn't getting something new so much. One isn't accomplishing some new state or adding something to his repertoire. <laughs> More is uh, getting rid of those things which are standing in the way of his already accomplished fact. Yes, so one could make a, a life goal of that. <clears throat> Most of the Buddhist disciplines consist of nonic things, favorite word of mine, N-A-N-I-C. Which comes from no or, or not. It's a process of getting rid of, it's not a, a process of a gaining some new possession or even a new skill. Just mostly get out of the way. That sounds strange in the American scene of today where everything is so busy, so much acquisition. In, in my experience as a therapist, I so often would get a new patient. He would likely sit there and tell me his tale of woes and how difficult things were and what should he do. And if he goes to a medical doctor, what chemicals should he take? I used to go off on my thoughts of the nonic process. Well, how do you get rid of the things that are standing in your way? You look like a beautiful person to me. 
Now, why don't you, you see that or what stands in the way of that? I talk for a while. A typical young guy would sit there and look at me quizzically and he'd say, okay, but what do I do? Well, I'm defeated immediately because I can't think of anything for him to do. I have to manufacture things, exercises or tools to use and so forth, yes. But that's not the essential point. The essential point is to get, get rid of the the foreign elements in himself which are obscure the beautiful person which he is in the first place. So I quit giving people lectures on uh, the nonic process because it doesn't register with their Western minds. 